And welcome back, friends, to Do News. I'm your host, the King of Do, and I've got some great news tonight for you. Uh, but I only have one video tonight, so I'm going to make sure to make it count. This one's got to hold you guys over, right? So I'm going to include a little bit of a market update, um, and then I got a whole list of news to go through for you guys that uh, I find really exciting. The markets today were kind of cool, a little bit of a pullback. Um, and here's what I am seeing in the markets, and I know that some other people agree in what we're looking at in the markets. Uh, right here we see Ethereum um, ETH versus BTC um, pegged up against Bitcoin right now. We had this run up back on May 30th here, um, and then we had a nice little pullback in Bitcoin price, right? Um, I know a lot of people got in right around here, and that was a nice little pickup, and we rose back up. Well, this right here, um, the technical analysis would say, I'm just going to simplify it for you guys. Uh, there's a lot of people out there way better at technical analysis than I am, um, but they validated um, what I am seeing. And what I'm seeing is is that this is a bullish, bull, uh, not a bullish, a bearish move here, an indicator that we are potentially are having some bearish activity here, and that this grindy slope right here um, is potentially the beginning of a big drop off. Um, you could see it go as low as 0.75. Um, I definitely will have some orders set up at that in that range myself to pick it up on the cheap. Um, that being said, I don't know um, if both Bitcoin and Ethereum will drop in USD value, but um, strictly bearish when looking at the BTC. Okay, so. Um, any um, my I was able to uh, get out just fine because the prob the probability guys is extremely high um, of it being correct. Now I could be completely wrong and tomorrow it could be at three hundred dollars, but um, just historically speaking, based on the market indicators, based on people who do technical analysis, based on a lot of people who do this for a living, which I don't, but I'm learning how to do some of this technical analysis and I saw it too. I saw what was happening and what I've been learning about. And I went and I said, are, are other people thinking the same thing? Are they seeing this? And sure enough, they did. Um, so back, I did the prediction back here, um, right after this little bump up here, right? And we started this grind. Um, and uh, essentially I told myself, well, technically it should go back up to this right here. And so that's essentially where I got out for a short term. Um, I put some money aside to get some back in. I didn't remove my entire position or anything. I'm just trying to get back in a little bit um, um, if and when it drops because the probability is so high. In my opinion, it was worth it. Is, it I mean, you could call it a form of gambling. I'm definitely long on Ethereum. I'm here for the long haul. So don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not cashing all my Ethereum or anything. But to be honest, I want more Ethereum. And so what I'm hoping is to uh, pick it up on the cheap here. So I'll have some buy orders in um, placed along this. You know, this potential downturn could actually go pretty steep. Um, it could extend out. It could take a day or so, maybe two days. But you can already see it kind of forming here. Um, the fact that the Chinese markets tonight did not wake it up in fact it, it it's it's still just sailing off here um it's proof of the overbuying that has occurred um i'm as blown away as everyone as far as the price of ethereum the hype is real um but what's happening right now is you know finally people are asking questions i have friends saying hey what is this thing you're doing king of do and i'm like hey it's pretty awesome let me tell you about it then they come back to me later and they're like, oh man, that that thing that you talked about, it's it's a cost a lot of money. It's like, it's a lot of money, right? So there's that psychological piece to all of this, right? Where they don't understand that you could buy a tenth of an Ethereum right now, right? Like, even in my mind, I'm trying to like come to grasp with that, right? And you should too. Like, we are now in the world of like, you should start looking at Ethereum as point 0.1. Like, if you want to get just a little bit of money in here, um, get a good deal on point 0.1 Ethereum, right? Right now, it'd be a great deal to get in at, uh, you know, 25 bucks. If the price were to drop down, it'd be awesome to get in at 24, 23. And that's just kind of the approach you're going to have to take to keep continuing. Um, if you're long on Ethereum, if you have savings uh, plans, 
um, you know, you've got to have the same belief about uh, that you did before. Like you can't just waver your belief, even if we have some type of pullback in the market. Um, what we were looking for in this run up is we were really, really hoping for um, an extension. I, I've talked about Elliott waves. We were looking for it to hit a certain number in order to be considered a continuation of a wave. And we just, we just haven't hit that. We just haven't hit it. And so um, it's time it's time for the wave to crash a little so that we can build the momentum for the next one. Um, and again, strictly technical, strictly no emotions, zero emotions, guys. I have no problems with the decision I made. I will have no regrets even if it goes to $300 when you know I wake up tomorrow. Um, I am doing it based on probabilities and on history and on, on uh, research in science and things like that. And people who do this more than I do. So don't get too crazy out there. Um, if you own just a little bit, I would just hold um, and not do anything. Um, if you have a significant position, uh, you probably have already... Uh, heard this news from someone else, but I just wanted to share that with you guys and that I um, Maybe you are in it for the long haul and maybe you just got paid like, you know, I'm getting paid here in a couple days I'm hoping that I'm like man, maybe I can buy some more right I want to get some more, you know trade my fiat for some ethereum get a good deal. All right. I Have some awesome news guys. I got hacked. I'm actually kind of excited. No, it's a joke. Actually. I didn't get hacked I'm just an idiot let's be real so um, backed by popular demand by the way I'm down here in the corner um, you guys really don't like my face much I can tell I understand that's okay I forgive you guys um, I wouldn't want to look at it either but um, you guys want to see what I'm looking at um, I'm gonna try to do more of that I haven't because uh, you know I'm doing news I gotta have all my win you know I gotta have resources available to me to switch between screens and show you what I need to show you guys um, so just keep that in mind uh, but I but I bought some new screens and I got some new stands so over the weekend um, this is gonna transform into some serious production news studio quality type of action um, it's gonna be quite the office here very shortly and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys better quality news um, and uh, got some other upgrades in mind and I even got some exciting things to mention at the end of this video so stick around for that um, but let's get right to it I uh, basically there were 11 accounts that got hacked on Steam it um, because of an angel so just listen up if you haven't heard this news and you have a Steam account this is actually imperative this is critical that you listen to this if you have a Steam account so this really wonderful guy called Noisy on Steam it is a programmer, and essentially uh, what he noticed his friend do one day is actually accidentally um, put his memo, his actual key, his memo private key. Um, he actually he accidentally stuck it on the blockchain for the world to see, right? So your memos and your messages, like your, your I mean. He, you can make them public, and he did on accident. So he had this epiphany. If my friend can make that mistake, anyone can make that mistake. So he wrote out this code, and uh, we can actually see the code here, which is fantastic, that he actually is, like, giving it to the world. Now, it's good and bad. You hope that no one's using it for bad. But he used it for good. This is fantastic. So um, he did basically he was able to get a list of everyone that has accidentally posted some type of password or memo. Um, I was on the list. A little bit embarrassing, but I also got super lucky because I didn't screw up. Um, and, and I'm not surprised that, I've, uh, that I did this. Um, but these people really screwed up. These are people's actual passwords right here. They actually gained access to the account because the guy is a good guy he uh, basically changed the passwords for them and uh, figured out a way to get in touch with them, essentially, okay, to get the passwords changed. There's two people he's still trying to find um, that he's having trouble finding. He talks about it in the article. But if you're worried or you see your name on here right now, you need to drop everything you're doing. Stop this video. Nothing else matters. You go fix it um, because they essentially gained access 
to $21,749 of Steam. Okay, so that means you probably have some of your Steam at, um, under someone else's control, but it's a, don't worry, these people are good people, they're gonna help you. Okay, so he ran this script over the entire blockchain, so this is everyone that's done it to date. Now if you scroll down, you'll start seeing more people who have accidentally given away their memo. I was on this list. Um, and that's actually not a big deal. If you're on this list, you just need to go change your password. Why this is important that you still change your password, though, is because someday they may be using um, these passwords for encrypted messages. So some blockchains, you're allowed to send encrypted messages on the chain so that no one can actually read your message on the blockchain so that, I don't know, you can send messages uh, private information financial information right private emails almost in a way right that you don't want anyone to ever see you can send it through the blockchain so one it's there forever but it's there forever only for the person who had the key to unlock it i guess that's the best way to put it anyhow this will jeopardize you from that feature it's not actually out yet on steam it but it potentially could jeopardize you someday in the future so please go and make sure um that you're not on this list you can go to steamit.com and you'll be able to find noisy is his name at noisy um you can see it right here it's got a nice little upside down picture but um i just want to thank him anyone who knows him um i am eternally grateful of course my heart stopped when i saw myself on the list um you know i was just browsing through it and i was like oh this is interesting and not even really reading it and i saw my name at the bottom and i panicked um, so I'm really, really happy that, um, he did this and it wasn't a bad person, right? Um, so lucky for me, none of my financials or anything like that are of any risk. Chances are yours aren't, um, which is good news, but I just want to talk about that because, um, I, I have personally matured and I think that we all should mature together when it comes to this. And what that is, is like, be so careful with your copy and pasting of keys. The more, the more I get into this, to this world over time, I've become desensitized to it. There was once a time where it was like, I was so scared to copy and paste, but now I'm just doing it so fast. I don't even care. I have confidence that I'm doing it right. And I, and, and your confidence could be your downfall. Your, 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 um, that one moment of negligence, right? It could cost you everything. So continue to be meticulous, triple checking, double checking, making sure that you, you're sending it to the right place. And then there are some accounts that you may find so important that copy and pasting shouldn't be an option for you, right? Like you might want to type that out by hand and keep it somewhere secret and safe you don't even want to save a file with the key in it anywhere on this planet you just you know just maybe you're just that paranoid i don't know that all being said i highly recommend cold storage wallets down in uh description below i have a couple recommendations two of the best ones everyone has their preference there's plenty of videos out there on each one to really tell you about them which one you should use Many of you have bought them. I've seen um, some of the orders. I, I appreciate that. You guys clicking the Amazon links and supporting the channel. Um, it means a lot to me. But if you're new to crypto and you don't have one yet, get one. If you've spent a bunch of money in crypto and you don't own one, go out of your way and just order one because it's worth being secure. It's worth being safe. Okay. Okay. Um, more steam at news. Before I would do more steam it, I love whoever went through and upvoted me recently. Um, a whale came through my blog very clearly, um, selected my highest paying videos and upvoted each one. Um, and I have been unbelievably blessed today. My family is grateful. I am grateful. Um, as you all know, I reinvest every single steam. Um, I have no idea when I'm going to power out someday. I'm hoping to just continue to grow the channel um, and grow my following on Steemit. And I, 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 I believe in a day where, you know, maybe it's worth five or even ten would be a really high target. 
but I believe in that day will come um, and even then I don't know if I'll power down um, my, my dream is that steam it finds stability in, in the pricing and the actually stabilizes to a degree in the future someday I don't know if that day is gonna come crypto right now is ridiculous let's be real right uh, steam goes from 80 cents to two dollars and twenty cents like that's just not gonna sustain or uh, people aren't gonna you know find trust in the currency and really really use it unless it stabilizes I'm hoping we can find some stability in steam it soon but I just want to say thank you to whoever you are out there that took the time clearly you wouldn't have done that without um, you know finding some type of value in the channel and I am eternally grateful and blessed and humbled by what you did going through and upvoting those videos um, it was a it was a beautiful surprise after a really hard day of work but also super inspiring as I try to continue to bring you guys the best um, that I am capable of doing and I hope you guys can see that I'm trying I'm getting better over time as well and uh, it's because of your guys' support and inspiration that I'm putting in the time to get better so I appreciate it so so much thank you so speaking about whales <laughs> let's talk whales steamwhales.com is a fascinating site I found recently if you go to steamwhales.com you can actually see every single person on steam and rank them right you can rank them by how much their account is worth you can rank them by what their reputation on the site is um, which is really cool how many followers and how much curating they do and posting and how much they make etc and it's really fascinating um, what's also cool is there's these little piggies and if you highlight a piggy you can actually see how much money someone is powering down right here is Ned and Dan two of the founders essentially um, that is a crap ton of steam guys right there is 443,000 steam that is basically a million dollars in steam at, at the current price one million dollars right now in 15 hours he is powering down it's fascinating if you go through here you start seeing that it just starts adding up um, a lot of these whales are powering down can you blame them if you look at their account value they're all millionaires they're just gonna go ahead and just cash some of it out um, it's it's fascinating to me because you can actually see how many days away it is from happening um, super fascinating to me actually uh, I would I would assume someone out there is monitoring like some of these to find out how many of them are being sent to certain exchanges to which then maybe the price gets pushed down um, I'm sure someone out there is much smarter than me and is able to create some artificial intelligence to monitor these these things and these happenings because you can just see that there's a lot but you can all but at the end of the day the overall amount of steam that's available out there maybe that's why the price is up um, maybe there's not much available on the market I put as much as I can into my account every last every last piece of steam goes back into my account um, because I'm reaping the rewards of having that um, both from from essentially staking and essentially getting greater rewards I can be honest it feels really good when I upvote your guys' content. And so I'm really enjoying that. I'm really enjoying rewarding other people um, at this point. I, I like to go through and find people who are giving good quality content. I love rewarding the people who leave comments on my posts um, and contributing that way. So I am becoming a huge fan of this site, clearly. Um, can't lie, I mean, the additional uh, uh, wealth that uh, I get to experience here is great but I'm also realistic I know that steam it could go back down to 80 cents tomorrow um, but for right now um, that's besides the point that's besides the point uh, steam it for me is a long 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 term play there's so many new features coming out on there uh, they're gonna be doing things like video and you know like that's huge that somebody's you know, you know everyone is out there right now working on video in the next year we're going to see so many ICOs about video cuz that's 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 what's going to be next someone wants to be the new YouTube um somebody wants to basically be the future of decentralized video and whoever does it first 
is going to be quite wealthy for putting that project together. So um, the race is on and everyone knows it. it's just too obvious of a solution um, and everyone's already talking about it. Um, and even uh, some, you know, there's rumors even um, very, very validated rumors out there um, of people talking about it. People who actually have the capabilities of making it happen are talking about making it happen very quickly. So, moving on from Steemit, because that's not what you're here, you guys are always here about. Let's take a look at uh, Polo. I want to talk about Polo. Uh, Polo X um, released, um, well, they didn't release it. It's actually tracked on a few different websites. But uh, Polo ranked 795th overall in the entire world for websites, right? Top 1,000 website now. Let that sink in. That's top 1,000 in the world. That includes all those websites that you don't use in other countries, right? Think about that. Um, they are number four in investing. Like, the category investing investment sites, they're number four. Let that really sink in. It's like, whoa. Think of the biggest investment site that you can think of. And Polonex is three tiers below it, just three steps below. Mind blown, right? Um, and last month they did about 18 million visits. I'm assuming this month they're probably going to blow that out of the water. It's crazy. All that being said, they're under a tremendous amount of pressure right now. And the response, um, their response, is not customer-centric. It is so far, it's become clear. Um, there's a lot of reports out there on basically everywhere I spend time online um, looking for news, reading of news, all my different sources. I've seen it everywhere today. Polonex is shutting down accounts. They are shutting down support accounts specifically, okay? They are locking down people from being able to go in and even follow up on the issue that they're having. We live in a crazy world of crypto and I'm sure there's a lot of people who are extremely angry about losing a lot of money because a website got frozen in time. If you guys have been watching my channel since the beginning, I brought it to you live, like one time I actually brought it live, the actual crashing of Polonex and watching as, like, I've never seen that much wealth be lost in my life in 30 seconds, guys. Like, it was just mind-boggling, right? I've seen it happen over and over again. Um, there are people who are angry about it. People's uh, stop-loss orders didn't execute properly. Uh, just complete chaos, okay? And all of this is new, and all of this is super risky. Um, and so, just keep that in mind. And in, in all your endeavor, endeavors, um, be as safe as you can at all times. Think about what it is you're doing before you do it in the worst case scenario. Um, because it could happen again. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the way that Polo is, is treating their customers. Um, whoever runs Polo is probably a billionaire by now. Like It's insane how much they have in their accounts. Um, you can see them on all the blockchains, right? And so it's just like, whoa. Somebody has a whole lot locked up, all right? Um, and and you can go on there and you can and every transaction you know how much they're making per transaction. It's just mind-boggling. So um, they're making they're making their fair share. It's just unfortunate that they can't employ enough people to handle this properly. Let's leave the servers and all the crashing out of it. It's just get a support team that can handle it because that growth isn't going away. It's not like it's going to like magically calm down. Um, even if the market crashes, um, not not going to calm down. And let's be real, guys, it's not going to crash. This isn't a bubble. Um, this is a joke because even all, even through all that mess, only 18 million visits still last month, right? Those are probably unique visits. So um, what are we at right now in the world? You know, we're at 6 billion. 18 million? 18 million is not even not even one... 20th of America not even 1 in 20 people in America um, so take the whole world into account it's, it's nothing no one no one is using 
Polonex as much as you think. If you start adding all the other exchanges, maybe it's a little bit higher, but let's be real, guys. Um, no one knows about this still. You're still here really early. This is still an amazing opportunity. Um, just make sure you're being wise with your money because we are so far from the finish line, so far, that the best thing that you need to do is be safe. Do not leverage. Do not use margin trading. You will lose everything. It is not worth it. Um, there's no forgiveness for margin trading. Like they're, like, It's not the same type of margin trading you've experienced on other sites, okay? Um, and if you have access to it, because a lot of you made a lot of money um, in the last run-up, or even the one before, and, um, and maybe you're starting to use margin because they're like, oh, this is great, and you're probably even killing it more right now. Well, that's... That's so dangerous. Can't you just just be happy with what that you're safe right now because I've seen so many people lose everything. <coughs> Excuse me. I've literally seen people who <coughs> sorry. Oh man. I saw some people who bought Ripple at 2 cents and watched it shoot all the way to the top, start getting greedy, and then they went over and tried to do it again on some other coins and now they lost it all oh, zero back to zero. Like even the money that they put in at 2 cents on Ripple so don't get crazy guys um don't get too greedy because there's more there's more than enough wealth here f for all of us right don't forget the whole concept of what we're doing here is, is is we're taking the power away from all of the all the banks and the centralization and all that wealth is finally going to be distributed properly and there's so much right we all know that the percentage of wealth locked up in the banks is a ridiculous amount um, some crazy thing like 3% of all cash in the world um, is actually physical cash. It's all digitalized and ran through banking systems. And right now you might have money, but you don't. Your money in your checking and banking account and your savings account is the bank's money. They just allow you to use it. They can, right? Like, think about it, right? It's an incredible the amount of power and wealth um, that they control. That's all, you know. That's starting to s slowly. Right now, it's just a drop. Let's be real. What is a hundred billion dollar market cap? That's nothing, guys. This is not even, not even the beginning. We're gonna go through some really hard times, right? There's gonna be days where I'm coming on this channel and I'm telling you guys we gotta hang in there. Don't, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Now's a great time to buy. Um, but then there's gonna be days where we're like dancing in the streets. There are so many days of dancing in the streets still to come. Do not lose hope. Do not give up in those moments. Um, but the only way you're going to get to go on this full ride with me, okay, maybe you subscribe to the channel, the only way you're going to get to the finish line is if you aren't doing margin trading, because you will get wrecked, you will lose everything, you will lose it all in your sleep, or you'll lose it there when the site freezes on you, you'll lose it when your internet service provider just randomly shuts off your internet, and you miss that the market dipped, right? There are so many factors that you cannot control. It is not worth it. And again, it is not the same type of margin trading you'd experience in other platforms. If you've done it before and you're like, oh, I've done it forever, it's not the same because there is no forgiveness. They want their money back right away, okay? It's just the way that the, that the margins are set up, okay? There's just no forgiveness. You will lose everything. They will close out your account. There will be nothing left. There is no, like... Uh, forgiveness IOU range, right? Like some sites you can actually take a negative amount in your account and just pay them back for your mistake. Does not work that way. You know, if there's a quick dip, if there's a quick dip, right? It dips, goes straight back up. Well, guess what? If you dipped too low, it closed out your position. You lost everything. You're not actually going to be okay when it comes back up. Okay. So that's when you're doing, even even if you're doing a call position, I know I always say don't short this market because it's a bull market. That's the stupidest thing you could do. If you have any shorts right now, go, go. that's dumb. But some of you are being bullish, and even a bullish move, you could get wrecked because all of you have seen that happen too many times where the market dips. That's my best advice for today. That's free of charge, guys. I don't even charge for that. Okay, next. Um, oh, Polo also got rid of the troll box. So if you guys know um, Polonex, if you've ever been there, they got rid of the troll box, famously called the troll box. It's just a chat box. 
where people are pumping and dumping. I'll be honest, I'm going to miss it. I hope they bring it back. I think it's a, it's good times. There's good laughs. I, I like the hype and the excitement and all the lying and manipulation. Um, I love the psychology behind it. Um, but I can honestly say it's actually kind of nice when I'm sitting there looking at something and the whole chat blows up about one coin, right? They're like, because it actually starts moving or falling super rapidly. Um, and for me, that's like free entertainment. I don't know. You get off on that. So I like, I'll go over and I'll click on it and I'll just watch chat explode while people are either making a fortune or losing everything they own. Right? So, but the reason they got rid of the troll box really is because everyone who had support tickets for the last, for the last month, it's been horrible. It's nothing but people being like, you mother, son of a bee and all this with their ticket number. You guys won't help me. You have my accounts locked up. I have so much money in here. Um, I've lost everything because I can't get my money in here. I was supposed to ca like I can't even log in. It's really bad on Polonex, so um, I apologize for anyone that's in that situation. I wish I could help you. The best thing I can suggest to you is try a different exchange. I highly recommend Bittrex um, as an exchange. I've never had a problem. I rarely see people have issues on there, um, and Bittrex has proven to this community, the crypto community that they want to do the right thing, okay? Um, and they are located in the United States, um, and that's a good thing. So, okay, moving on. Um, Amazon Merch. So I got approved for Amazon Merch. Um, I actually signed up long before I ever created this channel months ago. If you guys don't know, I'm an e-commerce uh, digital marketer. Um, and so I'm really excited to be a part of this new platform, Amazon Merch. Um, and I'm going to start uploading some designs and things that can be for sale. Um, and what's funny is, well, before I had this channel, I signed up and I just completely forgot about it. But today I got entered into the program and um, I got really excited because I said, you know what? They're just There's just not enough merchandise out there for people who are passionate about this industry um, I think there's some great opportunities um, I've seen some people some great content creators selling a few t-shirts but absolutely not enough to fill the demand Amazon merch has more than t-shirts I mean there's there's basically all the traditional merchandise available um, but what's great about it is that it's you know it goes through Amazon it's secure and all that um, as far as, uh, you know, it's a site you can trust and it'll be shipped and you have all the good customer service. So you're not, you know, you're not buying it from anything sketch. A lot of the people that are doing content creation for this community are using Bitcoin. They're using Ethereum, you know, that's how you pay. And so there's a, there's a high level of trust with that. But I mean, you're, what are you doing? You're buying like a 20, $30 t-shirt or whatever. So it's not like the end of the world. Plus it behooves them to not ship it. So there's a pretty good... Uh, level of trust there um, that all being said um, what I wanted to present to my audience to the people out there listening if you are an artist and uh, you know you you want to um, get some designs out there on the Amazon platform I am a uh, Amazon expert um, and I don't say that uh, to puff my chest but or anything like that I, uh, but it is my, uh, my profession um, in that I am an expert. Um, I do digital marketing um, and I visit Amazon. I have a, know a lot of good people up there. Some of them probably may even watch this channel now because um, a lot of people that are that I know and are close to me are starting to watch. And um, So hi if you're out there, my Amazonians. Um, but I know a lot about Amazon and so I was thinking maybe some of you would want to partner with me in getting some designs because it's not easy to get a merchant account right now. They're not handing them out. You have to go through approval processes um, and things like that. Um, but I qualified for one. I've got one. Um, and uh, I I could get some content created. I can create some content, things like that, and make some cool t-shirts about cryptocurrency. But um, I think it would be cool to open it up to my viewers. If, if that's something that interests you, Please message me privately, um, and uh, let's talk. Uh, you know, let's just figure out if it makes sense. Um, you know, send me. We can. You just basically, if you could just share a link with some of your artwork and 
uh, some of your ideas. Uh, we can take a look, and I'm extremely confident that um, we will see some excellent sales through that. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and just reach out to me, all right? Um, I think it would be great to work with you on that and uh, actually give back to the community some awesome content because um, my Ethereum t-shirt that I purchased on Amazon, for example, that was probably part of the merch program, you should probably go back and look, um, starts up so many great conversations, guys. And that's what's next for us. And I literally have it on my list of things to talk about here at the end as we wrap this up. What I want to talk to you guys about and encourage you to do is just start asking everyone if they accept cryptocurrency everywhere you go. Um, not as a joke, not to be funny, but to literally say, um, I, hey, I'm just curious, do you, do you accept do you accept any cryptocurrencies here? Um, just to just a ways, raise awareness. Um, if we all start doing that collectively, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll introduce more people to at least maybe being open to it, which is very important that you're talking to these merchants because what we all know is that there's payment processors that offer cryptocurrency processing terminals and they're out there calling stores trying to sell it to them and they're like, why would I need that? No one would ever pay with that, right? You get what I'm saying? But if you but if you start saying it, we all start doing this together. We'll raise awareness. They'll finally call that salesperson back and say, you know what? I had I have had a few people come in recently wanting to spend this. I, 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 I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'd like to set that up and just see what happens, right? So, let's uh, let's do that, guys. Spread the word. If you don't own any uh, cryptocurrency swag of any kind, it's awesome because you're going to meet someone in the real world. Like, you know, a part of the reason I started this channel is to try to connect with people because they're so hard to find. You're probably watching this because you want to connect with the people in the comments below and you're on Reddit and you're on Steemit and you're trying to be a part of a community and maybe you're like me and some days you just feel lonely because not, you know, I have friends that are into this, but my friends can't be with me 24-7, right? Um, and so some days when I'm alone and I want to talk to someone about this, um, it gets hard. And so sometimes I go through that loneliness. Well, there's nothing better than actually meeting someone in the wild, as I like to call it. So wearing some swag um, will pay dividends for you because you'll. it's amazing how, how huge this community is in knowledge, and um, when you meet somebody in the wild and you start talking about this, it's like, the other quirky thing about this, I love this, the quirky thing about it is that I can ask a complete stranger, so, so what, what, uh, what cryptocurrencies do you hold, right? You don't go around asking people, hey, what stocks do you hold? Oh, that's cool. Like, you don't do that, right? But, like, for some reason, this community just totally makes sense. It works. And, and it's so fascinating. They're like, well, I'm invested in this and this and this. And you're like, oh, that's cool. I am too. But tell me more about that one. You know, tell me more about like Monero. I'm not into Monero. Tell me what you know and believe in, right? Or maybe it's one you haven't even heard of yet. Um, there's, a, there's an ICO called Beth that's coming out soon. And, you know, talk to me about Beth, you know, because it, it feels like it's a scam to me. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. How do you feel about it, right? And, oh, I feel this way about it. And So wearing some good swag is a great way to do it. Um, obviously, Ethereum and Bitcoin are going to get the most recognition, right? Let's be honest. So if that's you and you're interested in that and, and you want to meet more people in the wild, just go buy a T-shirt. I actually have a link down below to help support this channel for an Ethereum T-shirt. Just click, click the Amazon link um, and... Uh, yeah, there's really not that much stuff on Amazon or anywhere, but uh, I bought it. I actually did a review on the channel of it a while back, um, as just just randomly on as I was wearing it. Um, so if you're interested um, in it, my my personal opinion is it was of good solid quality. It didn't blow my mind or anything, but it was like solid T-shirt. I didn't feel like I got, you know, I felt like I got what I paid for. If that means anything to you, so. Anyhow, all right, so the last thing I have is New Hampshire um, passed a bill here uh, today, 
and essentially um, I'm actually gonna pull this up and read it to you um, I don't have it on my screen right now I'm still on the whales screen here um, but uh, I'm gonna read this off my phone is where I had it set up this is why I need multiple screens guys I'm gonna have that set up here soon but New Hampshire House Bill 436 has been signed into law okay the legislation provides guidelines for money transmission as it's related to virtual currency defined as a digital representation of value that can be digitally traded and functions as a medium of exchange a unit of account or a store of value but does not have legal tender status recognized by the United States government okay so also there is an amendment to essentially conducting businesses using transactions conducted in whole or in part of a virtual currency um, essentially by removing the necessity to register as a money transmitter so I'm not an expert in law but this sums it up pretty well so this is what it really means okay the implications of this legislation clearly indicate a soft approach towards blockchain innovators from the live free or die state so if you don't know that's the motto of New Hampshire uh, it was, I went to New Hampshire recently on business um, and uh, it, I, I just love it it's on every license plate right so live free or die um, you know they, they know what freedom is about up in New Hampshire obtaining money transmitting licenses can be expensive and the paperwork process is time-consuming eliminating that inconvenience will foster growth for the blockchain based business entities and may also provide a conduit for exchange exchanges to spring up so this is amazing okay um essentially they decided to de kind of declare it as um exempting persons who use virtual currency from registering as money transmitters all right and this is great you know we were talking about nevada the other day and 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 them basically saying we're you know we don't want to block we don't want to do any taxes on blockchains and things like that um we this is a very very open-minded approach of a bill um to hopefully attract new business to a state that is not well known for having big business right so they're gonna they're gonna attract um some new blockchain companies um and as stated in there it's it's now officially like the best place to uh, set up an exchange which is really exciting the worst place on the planet to set up an exchange is probably uh washington state um right now uh, but what's fascinating about that is that actually is where uh bittrex is set up and that is their home um so very interesting okay all that being said uh that's pretty much it from me today uh if you made it through this whole video give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it um hopefully you found value in it hopefully you learned something new if you guys can go ahead and leave a comment um and uh you know just tell me what you thought or tell me uh tell me some news that you found interesting today that really is helpful to me um, a lot of the times, uh, my, my news is determined by what you guys tell me, and, and that's awesome. Um, also, if, uh, subscribe if you want to go on this wild ride with us, if you enjoyed this content. Um, I can't believe all the new subscribers that have been coming on. Uh, every single one of you are super precious to me um, because it helps validate that uh, I'm, not, you know, I'm not in this alone. Um, I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and uh, your your subscription helps validate for that for me so yeah, it means a lot to me and I appreciate it very much um, if you're on steam it um, upvotes are an incredible again thank you again for all the upvotes on steam it and um, if you're not on steam it I have no idea what you're doing it is amazing um, I, I guess I don't talk about it enough on here but you know you don't have to create content did you know that you, to, to make Steam it? You literally can upvote things. My videos, for example. Upvote my video. You will earn Steam. It's crazy. Um, so keep that in mind. So if you just got done watching this, 
and you didn't know that, and you have a Steemit account, what are you waiting for? Go over there, upvote mine, maybe upvote some others, find some people to follow. You can follow me on Steemit as well, um, and that way you'll always see me in, in the postings and things like that, and you can always upvote me, um, which is so, so appreciated by myself and my family, so appreciate it very much. All right, guys, that is it for me. I tried to bring it fast. I tried to bring it hard for you tonight. I had a lot to get through. You can tell that probably could have been two videos, but I only got time to upload one and do my whole process for getting it out to you guys. Um, so I'm, you know, I appreciate you taking the time, spending some extra time with me tonight. I gotta go be with the lady um, before she kills me. Uh, so it's very important. Um, as much as I love Crypto Mom, hi Crypto Mom. Um, she's my uh, other, other lover that uh, no one can tell my, my wife about. Um, she has a great channel. Crypto Mom's a cool cool uh, gal. She started a new channel. Um, and uh, I encourage all of you to start new channels. Uh, if, if you're on the, on the fence about it, just do it. Anything's possible. You'll never know what can happen. Believe in it. Um, you know, and great things will happen. Just, just do your best and great things will happen. And just be real. Just be 100% like real. Like um, people smell BS, so just be real, all right, all right, so that's all I got for you guys, I appreciate your time so much again, um, I gotta go, and as always, I am the king of dew, may the force be with you, and I'll see you next time.